Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing yet another favorites video. I say that, but I haven't done one in so long. I have quite a few new things that I have been absolutely obsessed with. Um, honestly, there's one set in particular that inspired this entire video, and I could make an entire video just on this one set. Sorry, my hair is a little bit crazy today. I just honestly didn't want to do it. Anyways, we have everything from hair care, home decor, shoes, products, makeup, self tanning, all of this stuff, and I'm sharing with you guys everything I've been loving. I've actually been doing quite a lot of online shopping, and I think my wardrobe this summer is absolutely incredible. That will be to come because I haven't really been wearing that lately, so I can't really put it in the video yet. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm drinking my hustle matcha. So good, this is not even on my list for my favorites, but this is only my second one, and it's already in my favorites video, honestly, only because I was already drinking it, but it is so freaking good. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start with products because that's like, I, actually everything is my favorite here, but we're gonna start with products. Surprise, surprise. My um, Super Goop Glow Screen. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm actually all out of it, and I'm waiting on a package um, from Sephora that I ordered a month ago because I ordered more just to make sure I wasn't gonna run out of them and I've been waiting for the pad like shipping and stuff Sephora shipping is just like super backed up, but it is a super goop glow screen This is normally the only thing I wear on my face I feel like everyone has been going crazy with skincare over quarantine and honestly I feel like I have done less than ever, but honestly, it's only because of this product. Obviously, it's SPF 40 um, It's a broad spectrum sunscreen. This is just a sunscreen, but it makes your skin look so glowy and healthy and perfect like I cannot even recommend this enough like I literally put this on I put chapstick on and I brush out my brows and I call it a day and my skin has never looked better so this is my number one holy grail product from here on out like this is my absolute favorite nothing will top it besides like maybe a lip balm like, I just feel so passionately about this which is why I felt like it needed to be the first thing I talked about and also to get it out of the way because I talk about it in all of my vlogs so I'm so sorry. Another thing I talk about all the time but um, in case you guys have missed it is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So I'm not really a big foundation girl these days. Um, less is more in regards to makeup. I don't like to have a cakey face especially in the summer. It's just like not my thing. One, I'm not good at it. Two, I don't like the feeling of it, you know? So I had this Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. I apply this with a brush. Um, and it just looks like my skin, but better. It's so healthy and glowy and dewy, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing any sort of makeup. Um, there's not really much coverage. You can definitely build it up, but it looks amazing. And then I'll go in and I'll put on like my bronzer, blush, whatever, and then I will go back and put this on top because you can use this as a primer, as foundation, or over your makeup. Um, this thing can do it all, you know? It kind of reminds me back in the day when I was obsessed with the Hourglass Dim Light Powder, which the only reason I'm not right now is because I don't have it. It's such a good powder. Um, this is kind of like the liquid version of that for over your makeup is how I would compare it, but... It looks amazing. I think it's the perfect thing for summer if you guys are looking to try out new products. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's getting hot in here because it's from the AC off when I film and um, it's already hot. The next thing I got would be the Ordinary um, Peeling Solution. So the Ordinary is so inexpensive. I need to get more things from them. My mom loves this. A lot of people love this. I got this because Keen posted on her Instagram story I think like two months ago and I ordered it immediately. It's really easy. Your skin feels so soft after like, oh my gosh, it's like $7 too. And it is so inexpensive. So. Anyone who's been in my house, which is obviously not by many, has used this and loved it, so love this. The next thing I have is this Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. So many people who have perfect skin swear by retinol cream, and so I decided to give it a go. My mom has used retinol cream for like 20 years. Like, she's always talked about this. Um, basically, you just put on a little bit. Um, you want to build up, so you'll do it like once a week, and then you'll do it like twice a week, and then like, you know, until you get to every other day, but that takes a while. Um, a little goes a long way. You want to be careful because it leaves your skin very sensitive, especially in the sun. I've not been the most routine about this because I forget the days of the week and I'm like, when did I put this on? Whatever. You know, it's just like a, it's a tricky game in quarantine right now. This is my second all-time fave, I think, of my products. The Lux Unfiltered Self-Tanning Cream. So, Savon Ayla, who's a blogger, made this um, and a lot of people have been just raving about this. I posted that I purchased this on Instagram and you would have thought I announced my pregnancy, which I'm not pregnant, but you would have thought I announced like a pregnancy or something by the amount of replies of people who were so happy for me. Like, I have never been that popular on Instagram, guys, literally. And so many of you guys were like, this is the best thing you'll ever use. Like, you will never go back to normal self tanner. You'll never go back to any other product, blah, 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 blah. So I had really high hopes for this and it is like over the moon surpassed them. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, 
I cannot explain to you how great the self tanner is. I actually am buying three more today just to have them stocked up. The only thing I kind of hate is I feel like I went through it a little bit quickly. I feel like that's kind of a given with any lotion, especially something that you're using this much. So basically, it's a gradual self tanner. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't transfer at all. So your sheets never get dark. I will wear straight up a white dress when it's still drying and it doesn't get on my white dress. Like I used to, I love white clothes and I used to have to avoid them because I thought my self tanner would ruin them. And no, this doesn't do it. It's super moisturizing. It doesn't smell. It's not sticky. Like guys, I literally cannot say enough good things about this. It is the best self tanner you'll ever use. And yes, it is gradual, but you'll get color immediately. Honestly, like the one time use I have color. Um, and then you do it about three times and you have like a really dark tan. And I'm just so over the moon impressed with this. Can't explain it. It's hydrating. I'm gonna stop talking about this because I could literally make an entire video just talking about it. But like, please, everyone, link down below, buy this product. It is the best thing I'll ever use. <sighs> Guys, it is so hot in here. As far as tanning my face, um, I will use the Isle of Paradise drops. Now, I will say, I feel like these used to work so much better on my skin and I feel like lately something I'm doing is just not working as well as it used to but as far as a overall face self tanner this is the best thing I've ever used I just don't know like what I'm doing basically it's the Isle of Paradise medium self tanning drops face and body so you just put a few drops in your moisturizer or whatever you're using I do it at night and what I found that I love to put it in is the Summer Friday CC Me Serum. So I'll put this on at night. My mom also does this and swears by it. Like she gets the most perfect glow to her face with this, especially like she gets, it's even better for her than me. I don't know why. But yeah, you can put this in anything. Sometimes I'll put it in like Summer Friday's like jet lag mask. Like it really, you can literally put it in anything and then you wake up and you have a nice glow. Guys, I'm literally sweating. I, I'm putting the AC back on, I'm so sorry. Whew, okay, also this will stain your hands really quick So make sure that you just go and you like wash your hands immediately after really well and then you're good to go Last thing I'm gonna share with you guys is something I actually just got but I loved it I used it one time and I'm putting it in a favorites video. It's the beauty counter sugar body scrub This is the best body scrub. Oh my gosh it's also really important to have a body scrub when you regularly self tan um, so that, that way you can like exfoliate and you know, you know the whole deal. I love this one. It's amazing. Also, I love a body scrub that leaves you feeling like moisturized after. I think a lot of them can leave you feeling like your skin is like ripped and ruined. You know what I mean? This one leaves your skin feeling super moisturized. Oh my gosh. It's everything that you would ever possibly want in a body scrub and I'm just the biggest fan. We're now going to go on to like kind of random accessories. I have three things that are literally all from Amazon. Um, the first thing would be these sunglasses. $12 on Amazon guys. They're so cute. They're the only sunglasses I own right now. I call my rooftop. I put these on. I read a book, you know, that's my routine right now. So I've been loving these literally $12 on Amazon guys. Like, could you want anything else? You know what I mean? The next thing I have any sort of claw clamps guys. My hair is always up in a claw clamp. It literally is probably up for like three months. Like I probably have really bad, I actually do have bad breakage. I think literally because of my tight buns and claw clamps, but I don't care. Like, this is, thing is the cutest little hairstyle. It's so easy to do. It's very like chic looking. I have so many of these. Um, and I got a set on Amazon, I think for like $12 as well. So I'll have it linked down below exactly the one that I have. But I just think that this is like so cute. I love the patterns. I have so many different kinds. I will link options as to what you guys can buy, but I get them all on Amazon. I have probably like five or six and they're literally all from Amazon. Also, I have this silk scrunchie. So I'll obviously link down below like a dupe, but I have a dupe and then I have the actual slip silk scrunchies and these are so much better in your hair. Once I realized how bad my breakage was getting with the other ones, I started using these and I noticed a big difference. It also doesn't crease your hair um, as bad as like the other ones. It really doesn't like kind of at all, honestly, at least on my hair. The last thing, um, this has a lot of lint on it. I don't know why. I have this baseball hat and then a hat. Hat? I almost said cap hat. You know what I'm saying? I have a gray one over there as well, but I've been wearing the black one more. Um, this really makes me feel like I am like a tennis mom of some sort. Like, let's hold on. Let's complete the look. Ooh. Yeah, see, exactly. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make an Amazon accessories TikTok. I'm literally making that today. Genius. Okay. We're going so out of order. So as far as bags, this isn't a new bag, but this is what I've been using the most lately. I haven't really gone many places, but this is what I've been using. It's this cute little Fendi side bag. I think it's so fun. I got it off the real real. I get pretty much every single one of my like designer bags on the real real. Obviously they're investments, but like I just love bags. So it's like my one thing, not even my one thing, let's be real, but it's just something I love, okay? Um, I think this is so cute. It's super fun. It's really trendy. Um, I think this will kind of always go around. I just love this. Like I'm literally obsessed with it and it's just so fun to wear. 
love just throwing it on again I'm like a tennis mom that's kind of like my you know we've been through it Brad running housewife is my um, 2020 vibe but I love this bag I will link down below similar ones I know a lot of you guys have recently I don't know why I saw it on like my link thing have recently been buying the Marc Jacobs bag tag bag that I had like a year ago I just don't even know what video people are watching where they're getting that link because I haven't even shown that bag in so long moving on to clothes so I have been wearing basically anything that is comfortable I haven't really left my house and I'm not gonna wear jeans really you know what I mean I just want everything comfortable it's really hot in Texas so I literally just bought like 30 dresses really thin dresses that I can wear every single day my summer vibe is like a dress with my all-white docks or my Air Force Ones which I'm gonna show you guys but anyways as far as what I've been wearing lately I am obsessed with this Instagram account kill it eyes I share their stuff all the time like everyone's been wearing them Brooke and I have the same set now um, but it's super cute because it's like obviously tie-dye sets are like such a quarantine thing But I love her account because she does like biker shorts as well Which I have another set from biker shorts from someone else's Instagram, but I've just been living in my kill it eye stuff So it's super cute. There are these little shorts because it's obviously getting hot So these little shorts and then this little crew and it's so cute this matching crew I wore this yesterday. I've worn it so many times I basically live in these in my house and I love them. I have a bright pink set. I have like Oh my gosh, I'm just like so obsessed. My cousin bought one. Like so many people in my life are just like, I'm obsessed. Where did you get that? And it's from Kill It Eyes on Instagram. It's really great, especially for spring and summer because they're shorts, you know? So we're like gradually like going on in 2020. Oh my gosh, you know what it reminds me of? This is the TikTok I'm gonna make. I'm really into TikTok as you can tell. You know a new moon when it like pans around Bella and it's like the seasons when she's so heartbroken? That's literally like quarantine, but it's like you have the sweatpants, then you have the biker shorts, then you have the Sophie shorts. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what this is. So I got this oversized crew from Aerie. I believe I got it in an XL. Yeah, I did. Um, I got this in white and then I got it in gray and it's long enough to just be a dress. They're so comfortable. Also to put things in perspective on Savannah Ayla's self-tanner, I literally put this on as the self-tanner was drying. Nowhere to be found, guys. Unreal. Um... Oh, I just spilled my matcha all over my rug. Anyways, I love these for summer. I think they're so cute because you can dress it up, dress it down. Like, I want to wear this with, like, all white docks and then just, like, a cute bag. And that's, like, my summer look. Also, it's nice for, like, summer nights if you're going to, like, a bonfire or, like, a beach bonfire. Or you can just wear this as a cover-up of your swimsuit. Like, yes, it's not super thin, but it's not crazy thick. I also got it in gray. I believe they're on sale. They were at least on sale when I bought them. I bought so many airy um, swimsuits as well, which I haven't worn yet, which is why they're not in this video. But, yeah, I just think that it's so cute and, like, a staple for me right now. Okay, on to the set. That is basically why I made this entire video. So this is from Lou and Gray. It's currently on sale, which I think that probably means they're not selling it anymore because there's nothing like it. Guys, if they had, they said this to me, but if they had more colors, I would buy it in 10 different colors. Like this was the most comfortable, most flattering, most beautiful outfit I think I've ever worn. I'm just so obsessed with it. So it's this cute little top. It's so thin. So it's a perfect thing to wear in like Texas summers because Texas summers are like hot and miserable. Um, and it's just amazing and then there's a matching skirt with a slit I'll insert my Instagram photos of when I wore this but like when I say I've never worn a cuter outfit I really truly believe that this is the most comfortable thing I've ever worn like over sweatpants literally like I feel like this is more comfortable than wearing Sweats and a hoodie. It is just literally like I need blue and gray Please I'm begging you come out with more colors of this I'll be your number one spokesperson because this is the best that I've ever seen It is currently on sale last time I checked. Hopefully it's still in stock. I'm so sorry guys I feel like I won the lottery with this set. I have never been more obsessed with clothing than this Like you guys know me and my white shoes. I just love white shoes I recently picked up another pair of Air Force ones guys. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth pair over the past probably like three years of wearing them at some point they do get too gross to where it's just like past the point of return like you can't keep cleaning them you have to just buy a new pair and every time i buy a new pair i'm like oh my gosh these are the best shoes ever they're so comfortable they're so cute with everything they're so amazing for like sweatpants to make the outfit look a little bit cooler and then also for if you guys are wearing dresses like i love dresses with sneakers they're just like some of my most worn shoes i've ever ever purchased that's why i'm always okay with buying more because i know how much i'm gonna wear them and then i got these doc martens so i got the all white the white on white docs i also got these from Nordstrom. i'll have the link down below they're so cute i love these i was trying to get the ones with the velcro buckle i've wanted those for like three years but they are 
they don't make them anymore and they're like impossible to find. I've searched eBay, I've searched Depop, I've searched everywhere on the internet to find them and you can't find them. So I ended up settling for these and I actually love them. I think they're so cute. It's such a fun way to dress up an outfit. Um, I don't know, I just think they're super fun for summer. So for workout accessories, I only have one of the three that I'm gonna talk about, but my Bala bangles, you guys probably see them on my Instagram story a lot. I love these, they're so great, they're in perfect addition for an at-home workout or even bringing them like I'll bring them you know and in a perfect world I would bring them to a Pilates class but um yeah they're just amazing I have the two pound black ones honestly the two pound I didn't want to get the one pound because I'm like what is that gonna do and then I got the two pound and I was like I see why everyone gets the one pound I get questions all the time on where this jacket is because I wear it over stuff to work out all the time it's from Brandy Melville I don't know if they still sell it so I'll have it linked down below um it is truly the best just like oversized black jacket it was so hard to find like the perfect one so i understand why everyone asks all the time that one's from brandy but i have heard walmart has good ones so i'll also look online okay i got the best workout shorts ever from outdoor voices literally ever and i looked the other day online to see if they're still online and i didn't see them but i'm gonna have them linked down below i'll post a photo because they're currently getting washed right now but oh my gosh guys these are the most flattering shorts i've ever worn they're like i believe they're like a five or seven inch these shorts are honest to god the best thing that ever happened to me so i will also have those linked down below seriously i need every single color and i don't even know if they have other colors of them but i just feel so passionately about them because i think they're the cutest most flattering most comfortable shorts ever i went on a run in like hot weather and it was amazing okay we're gonna go into home decor i have this on here um society six print so i just got the cutest society six print that's this cute little like western one um it's literally sitting right there actually i'm just gonna grab it because it's not hung up isn't it just beautiful guys like first off so me second off just so freaking cute that print is society six and then the frame is ikea um and then i just ordered a bunch of new society six prints i also got one that's dolly parton and the frame comes today so you guys will also be seeing that i'm really excited because don't follow me on instagram you guys should because i'm constantly posting updates on my house i have highlights for everything and i'm just like really into instagram so i love that i think society six is the best place to get prints they there's a lot to look through like i will say but once you find one print you like just go to that artist page and you'll probably find more that's really great and they're also always on sale i feel like they're very fairly priced and i just love them okay i got a new couch for my den my den has been just like transformed if you guys follow me on tiktok or have seen in the vlogs or anything it has been transformed. I got this couch that literally fits 10 people. It is the most comfortable couch I've ever had in my entire life for like $290, guys. My couch in my living room that's like half the size was literally like four times that price, it, maybe even five. I don't even remember how much it was. But anyways, such a good deal. I got it from Nebraska and I found it on Facebook Market. Obviously my rooftop, I've talked about it so many times. Comment down below if you guys wanna see an entire rooftop tour. Most of it is from Overstock, but that's been really great. I think just investing on my space around me has just like been such a game changer. The last thing, I got a projector and a projector screen um, from Amazon. I'll have those linked down below, but it's so fun to watch in my den. Like it just is the best vibe. And I'm not really someone who watches a lot of shows or movies even. Like I read a lot and I watch a lot of YouTube, but I want to kind of be in the know. So I've started, like I watched Normal People. I also read the book. So like that was kind of where that was from, you know? I started Outer Banks. This is really good for me. Um, but the den has just been such a good thing. And the projector and the screen were also really inexpensive. This will come as no surprise to you. This is like my miscellaneous section, but we only have one because we only need one. Um, my Kindle Oasis. Best thing ever. Lauren made me buy one. I was reading on my iPad Pro for the longest time, and then I read on the Kindle Oasis. Well, I purchased one. I ended up buying a Kindle because when I was going out to my rooftop, I couldn't. There's a glare on the iPad screen, and I know I could have probably got a screen protector or something like that for the iPad, but... I just felt like it was time. It's really nice to have a device that's just for reading because with my iPad, I can just bring my iPad and then I'll end up like working or something i don't know i was reading all the time on my ipad and if you have an ipad and don't want to spend the money it's such a great thing to read on but because i'm literally on book i think 30 literally like i'm not exaggerating of quarantine i felt like this was a good splurge you can get kindle unlimited which doesn't have like the best books ever from what i've heard it's like ten dollars a month um there's also like i think there's also ways that you can like check out books in the library and stuff on here so you can save a lot of money also regardless kindle books are actually just like way less expensive but i read from here all the freaking time it was the best purchase of quarantine no doubt i'm obsessed with it like 
Oh my gosh, I have some apps that I've been loving. The first one, Tezza. Tezza is how I've been editing all my Instagram photos and I really like how my Instagram has been looking lately and that's a first for me, honestly. I say that every time, but I really kind of mean it. I started running this month as well, so I've been using Couch to 5K and that has been really helpful. I've actually stuck with it. My cousin and I have been doing it and it's just like really great. It basically makes a running plan for you and then um, you're running like three miles by the end of like, I think two or three months, I can't remember, but. Yeah, it's actually really great. I love it. Um, it's been really fun and I'm not a runner and I'm not someone who's ever really loved running because I associate it with like punishment and sports growing up, but it's been really good and I've actually really liked it. Melissa Wood Health, this is no surprise. I love her workouts. I tried to do other workouts and I was like, nope, I just like my Melissa Wood Health. It's just so calming and relaxing and I feel like I'm getting such a good workout and I just love it. Like I absolutely love it. I have a whole workout station in my den now, which has been such a great thing to just wake up in the morning, walk downstairs, work out, and then leave. And I don't have to like set it up or take it to part or whatever. It's just so nice. And then last but not least, TikTok guys. I have been posting a recipe TikToks, book TikToks, outfit of the days, lots of stuff. I'm doing dance TikToks. Like we love TikTok in this house. Like, fun. So if you guys haven't followed me on TikTok, you guys need to follow me on TikTok. It's just like so addicting, okay? So a hair favorite that I have been loving is my Dyson Airwrap. This is a, an investment, I'm not gonna lie. So unless you feel like you really, really, really want this and you save up and you whatever, you know, um, I'm not gonna tell you it's like worth it. For me, I found it was worth it because I love it so much, but I also don't wanna like tell you guys to go spend like $600 on a hair tool. I got this on sale on Nordstrom Rack. That's the only reason I bought it for like 400, which is still so absurd for a hair product, I know. But like Dyson legit never goes on sale. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity, okay? Anyways, you have all of these tools. It's expensive, but it basically replaces all of your hair tools. It's really great. Um, my hair looks so much better when I use Dyson products. It's better for you. I just love it. Um, so if you guys are considering buying it and like you think it's worth the investment, I would say yes, but also, I'm fully aware of how expensive this is and I'm not gonna tell everyone out there to like go buy this, you know, but I'll have it linked down below in case. I just love it. I also love the case that it comes in. Oh, I love the case that it comes in because it looks like really nice in my room. So, great. All right, that is it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Um, everything will be linked down below. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, check out the podcast, all of that stuff. I'm always sharing things that I love, but I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.